2023 GR86 manufacture date February 2023 so I'm not sure if this meets the cutoff for the real 2023s or it's just a carryover from 22. We're doing the oil pan drop oil strainer cleaning why don't we take a look. So light gray silicone for the lower oil pan this should be the quote unquote new 2023 although they sure did use a lot of that light gray silicone so this may or may not be you know one of the in-between years. Toyota oil filter again cutting these open see if there's any correlation between the amount of RTV in the pickup and the amount of RTV we find in the oil filters. So pro tip the Subaru oil filters are actually the same dimension but internally there's far more filter material inside a Subaru oil filter as opposed to this Toyota one. Uh, the Toyota one looks extremely sparse as far as filter material in comparison. Clean filter so nothing conclusive here. Although I saved our bookmark you can see our old friend Mr. Green Spec right there. What's up man long time no see. All right so what did we find inside the oil strainer? More than I expected out of a 23. Although production date February of 23, again, this may be one of those like in between years before they implemented all the fixes they could at the factory. Interesting with this one, majority of the RTV was actually on that left side vertical wall. Again, these can be deceptive because we never get to see that left side vertical wall. And you know, as history has told us, majority of the RTV migrates over to that left side. Meaning from these pictures, there could be more RTV than the picture actually shows. Why don't we see what we pulled out? Cool, we got some old friends and we got some new friends today. Lots of interesting shapes and colors as usual. Black from the cam carriers, dark gray probably from the upper oil pan, timing cover, the other areas of the engine. Again, seeing old friends, Mr. Red Spec. Looks like some bikini underwear right there. New with this, if you guys look really close, that's a piece of aluminum stuck to that RTV, or I should say RTV stuck to that piece of aluminum. I was surprised to find that inside the oil strainer. Uh, I'm kind of curious how that strip of aluminum comes off like that. Also, another dangerous thing, you can totally tell how skinny that thing is and that thing could absolutely make it past the oil strainer screen. Yeah, you don't want any of this junk in the oil pickup screen or much less making its way past the screen and into the engine.